hot as hell. We getting in this work. New job, y'all. Let's get it. What up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ryder back with another classic. Before we get started, if you haven't already, show me some love and hit that like and subscribe button. Check it out. I got a quick little video for you guys today. The power of having a CDL is very important, guys. For all my guys out there that's in trucking school and my guys out there that already had their CDL for a while, it's very important that you guys don't get any tickets, no accidents, and you protect your CDL with your life because if you have a good CDL, like myself, you always will be able to find high paying jobs and switch jobs when you're not happy. You know, my last job, I loved it, it was a great job, but overall it wasn't paying me enough money, so I found another job that's paying me more. And the power of the, having a CDL, drivers are the reason why these companies are what they are today. They don't show us enough love and respect as drivers so sometimes when you're a driver you got to do what's best for you and your situation and in this game of trucking and having a good cdl we're in this business to make money so you guys need to find jobs that's going to pay you the most money sometimes we got to take pay cuts and do what we got to do but overall there will always be a job out there for you as a driver to always improve your income that is the number one goal of trucking. When I first started off, like everybody else, I was getting tickets and getting points on my record. But right now, I don't have no points, no tickets. So for me, I can switch jobs as many times as I want. You know, and if you guys are in trucking school and barely, barely starting off, you guys will understand the farther you get into your careers that you have power in that CDL. And if you're not happy with a job or you want or you find a better paying job, guess what you guys can do? You guys can fill out an application, boom, 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 switch jobs just like that. And you guys will get hired if you guys have a good CDL, especially for all my owner operators out there. My guys that's thinking about becoming owner operators. If you don't have any tickets or accidents on your CDL and when you want to get your own insurance, guess what? Your premium is going to be cheaper than a person that has tickets, you know? Cause like for my insurance, I was only paying like $900 a month when I had my own insurance for my own truck. So a lot of guys, I know they're paying like 3,000, 4,000, even some guys paying $5,000 a month. And a lot of those guys that pay that much, they don't have a clean CDL, okay? They have a lot of tickets, a lot of points. They might have accidents. Like when we have CDLs guys, we have to be careful in our personal vehicles and in our trucks because we don't want no accidents or anything on our driving record, okay? And uh, if you guys have all the endorsements you need, like hazmat, for instance, triples, doubles, and, uh, and tankers, guess what? You'll be more marketable as in a CDL driver to where when you get on Craigslist and Indeed and you guys want to look for jobs, you know what's going to happen? You're going to be able to get any job you want and you don't have to settle in this game especially the way the economy is right now we want to make as much money as possible in this truck driving industry okay and especially for all my guys that's coming from the owner operator business and transferring to being a company driver you know what we got to find these company jobs is going to make us a couple grand a week so we can be satisfied until these rates get better and we can do our own thing you know what i'm saying sometimes guys the name of the game is playing the game to win you know we can't be in this trucking industry working hard doing what we got to do and uh at the end of the day we're unhappy with our our paychecks no we're not going to do that we're going to come to work to make money you guys and, and when, when we're risking our lives every day in these rigs you guys want to be able to make good money to pay your bills and take care of yourself and your family as needed okay and uh for me right now I'm, I'm in a good situation i'm loving to pay uh but i have to unload the truck 
You feel me? It's pros and cons in any at every job. But me, personally, I don't mind unloading the truck because I like doing physical stuff. You know, I started my fitness journey working out, so I'm in way better shape. So it's, it's an easy day for me. Makes my day go by faster to touch this freight and unload the truck. A lot of truck drivers, y'all, they don't like touching freight. They hate it, but me, I don't mind it. You know, if the price is right, I'm going to do the job. I'm on good pay if I have to touch freight. That's the name of the game. But it ain't, what I do is not for everybody. So every other drivers might be against touching freight and they just want to bump docks and chill. I don't mind. You know, I don't mind, you know, having a little workout, unloading a truck for an hour or two a day. I don't mind doing that, you know, because I'm getting paid pretty good to do what I do. So let's go, y'all. What up, YouTube? So I'm back. Uh, I just wanted to drop some quick little game for you guys about the power of having a CDL. It's important that we keep clean driving records, guys, because that will help us in the long run uh, when we want to switch jobs and find better paying jobs. Like when you guys first start off having a CDL, you're not going to get the best paying jobs. It's going to take you guys like a year or two to find a good paying job, but no matter what some guys do get lucky and find that good job and they make a lot of money but you guys will not get the best job if you don't have the best driving record always remember that you know like that's why when i want to go out and have a drink like i hop in the uber you know i don't i don't play with my license or i have somebody that's sober that can drive and my license to me is everything is how i feed my family how i'm able to live the lifestyle that i want to live y'all so keep that in mind every day you guys get behind the wheel try to protect your license you know when i first started driving trucks i got a gang of points gang of tickets and it took years for me to find decent paying jobs because i couldn't get improved approved by the company's insurance because i had too many points on my record and they wouldn't even touch me so as i mature in this truck industry you know um i learned that i have to do good when it comes to my license and i can't have no tickets you know something sometimes when it comes to accidents, there's nothing that we can do. You feel me? But we all probably didn't been in accidents, but try to pay attention when you're on the road and try to protect your license with your life. Because if you're a company driver and you're a professional driver at that, your truck driving license is your life. That's your everything. Okay, so we don't we didn't go to trucking school and work hard to have low paying jobs we want the best out here in the world you know like they don't pay us enough as drivers I, and i will i will always say that you know i think personally i think hourly truck driving jobs just start off at 35 dollars and up but that's not the case and right now if you're living in california southern california i'm looking at the market and they're trying to pay drivers 23 dollars an hour $24 an hour. That's that's crazy right there. Okay? But if you have a good driving record, you can shop around and you can weigh your options. You can find those jobs that's trying to pay you $30 and up. You know, the work might be a little harder, but guess what? Like we we go come to work every day to work. You know, some people can't handle what I do and that, and that's okay. Some people might comment and say I'm not touching no freight. That's cool for you. But me, I don't I don't want to sit in the truck no more and just eat all day and gain weight. That's not my style no more. You know, I did that for years. Then I had to work like hell to lose that weight. And I don't want to do that again. So uh, it's helping me get a little workout, in, extra workout during the day. Unloading this truck right now. I do like Tony Express. I have nothing bad to say about them. It's a wonderful company. And uh, I think that's a great company for a lot of people. But, you know, I just need a little more pay, y'all. So uh, I'm going to head back to this yard. Let's get it.